you're really adjusting to the sixth man role last two games. Talk a little bit about your mindset coming off the bench to help the Rams. Um, I think like now more than ever, it's now more than ever it's very uh, it's kind of like it's, it's do or die for us right now at this point in the season. So I'm just trying to come off the bench with as much you know aggressiveness as I can. So. Confidence mm -hmm. coming off the bench. You hit your first jumper, mm -hmm. taking it inside and really mixing it up. Has Coach Barron talked to you a little bit about how to prepare and, and being able to help a team in this time of, in this time of season? Yeah, I think you know we, we all understand the importance of being aggressive and like you know we, we, we let like a couple of games go in the second half and obviously like the approach to the game has to be a little bit different. So you know it's just, it's really about aggressiveness, just coming in, staying focused, and just attacking. So. And in terms of any, uh, I, I guess superstitions. Mm -hmm. Earl Grey tea before tonight's game. Absolutely, that's you know that's the way forward. It's either a tea or a coffee or something. So yeah, definitely. But I, that helped me today. So. Talk about what it means to to, to reach your thousand point mark. Uh, it actually feels good, you know. Um, I was just saying it back there to the coach. Uh, it was a little joke. I was like, um, I was like, coach, I'm the only uh, one that's like in history probably made it to a thousand point without no plays being ran for me. <laughs> so it was, uh, it feels kind of good, you know. It means that uh, I hustle a lot, you know. I play pretty hard, and I just, you know, give myself credit for uh, the things I did. Well, the play that you scored your thousand point on, uh, a rebound and a putback kind of a you know a, a little bit of a, a metaphor for your entire career but also tonight you reach your 100th block talk a little bit about your all-around game uh you know you know you play uh you play defense you know you work hard you know you hustle and it's all going to come to come come together you know you just got to uh believe that you can lock down on defense and tonight that's what we basically did we uh we relied on defense and they created our offense and uh we just played as a team tonight you talk about believing you're a senior, you're heading to Atlantic City now, your last run, Rams tournament, uh, hopes right on the bubble there. What does the team have to do to really focus in the next three games to make a tournament run? We got to go down there, you know, we can't think of uh, being in NCAA, we got to, uh, we just got to be confident and play one game at a time, like I've been preaching all year, we got to play one game, uh, game at a time and pretty much defense and that's about it, you know, we, we, and also, a big factor in uh, the way we play, we need to uh, share, the, uh, share the ball. Benny has talked about focus and him coming off the bench in a reserve role. Lamont talked about believing as a team. Talk about what those two things mean as we go forward into a three-game stretch in Atlantic City. Well, yeah, I mean, Ben coming off the bench is, is, is you know, pivotal for us because in the last few games, um, you know, we've, we've really uh, struggled to score. Our, our main five have really struggled to score. And for him to come in uh, for 10 points against UMass, uh, seven points, five points, five points against uh, St. Joe's, that's huge for us. And in terms of the focus, yeah, I mean, I, I think we even need to take it up another notch and uh, continue to, um, you know, keep focused because obviously St. Louis is a great team. We've really got to respect them.